Guruji, the little brown bird, knew all the animals in the zoo. Her best friend was Rupa, the elephant, who gave ride to the children on Sunday mornings. But today, what did Chinchi see? Rupa, the elephant, stood in a corner while tears rolled down her cheeks. Why, Rupa? Whatever is the matter? chirped Chinchi. I'm just a great fat tub. Silly Rupa, don't cry, said Chinchi. I will soon find a way of making you bright and pretty. Chinchi went to the tiger. Good morning, Tanu Tiger. Rupa is feeling sad and grey. Please lend her your nice grey strips, she chirped. She flew to Sonu, the leopard. Will you please give your bright shiny spots to Rupa? She asked. Chinchi spoke to Raja, the peacock, and Mithu, the parrot. Will you give your pretty colors to Rupa? She asked. All rushed across the zoo gardens to Rupa, the elephant. They began giving their colors to Rupa. Tanu slid down one side of Rupa. Sonu rubbed off her spots onto Rupa's legs. Mithu put grey-green streaks on her tail. And Raja left shiny blue patches all down her trunk. Rupa stopped crying. Oh, I'm as pretty as a wedding Shamiana, she said. Won't the children love me? The next day, the children came to the zoo for their elephant ride. But goodness, what had happened? Where was their nice grey Rupa? Who was the ugly, patchy, totty, strippy monster standing there? Some of the little ones were frightened. <laughs> they cried. Go away, you ugly thing. We want our Rupa. Rupa burst into tears. What was she to do now? Then she had a bright idea. She quickly jumped into a lily pot. Swoosh! Swoosh! All the colors were washed off. Look, cried the happy children, clapping their hands with joy. Here is our very own Rupa. How on earth did you manage to get so many colors, Rupa? The children asked. Come along. I will show you the kind friends who gave them to me.